Hey guys and welcome to this video. Today I want to show you 5 creative transitions inside of DaVinci Resolve. The dip to color dissolve transition. Okay, I have to admit this is not the most creative transition but it's the most used transition. And it's the easiest one of this video. So to find this transition go to effects, then go to video transitions. And here you will find the dip to color dissolve transition. So just drag and drop this transition between your two clips and now the transition looks like this. So this transition is very easy to use and now I will go into the inspector. So here you can adjust the length of your transition. So maybe I just want it faster. Okay, and you can align this transition to the end of the first clip or to the beginning of the second clip or in the middle between both clips. You can also change the ease as well as the color. But I like the normal dip to color dissolve transition so I don't change anything. So let's move on to the next transition, to the light swipe transition. So for this transition I will use the light swipe transitions pack from aejuice.com. You can find the pack in the description. But of course you can also use some free light swipe transitions from the web. So I'm back in DaVinci Resolve and I drag and drop the light swipe transition overlay over my video. Then I select the overlay and I change the composite mode from normal to add. Then I look for the brightest part of this overlay. So this is like the brightest part. And I hit the marker button. Now make sure that the marker point is in the middle of the two clips. And then it should look like this. Again, this transition is really easy to use, like the dip to color dissolve transition. So now I want to show you a much more harder transition. The moving object or moving person transition. So there are two ways to achieve this transition. The first way is that the moving object or moving person is built in the scene. Like in this case, the moving person is built in our scene. So for instance, this is our first clip. And this is our second clip. And the two clips are divided by this person which is moving from the right to the left. So let's go to this frame where the moving person covers all of the right part. So this should be the frame. Then go into fusion. Now drag and drop a polygon mask into the node field and connect the polygon mask with the media in one node. Now hit the invert box and just create a mask. Then go one frame to the right. Now adjust the mask so that the right part is masked out. And again go one frame to the right and mask out the right part of the person. Now repeat this procedure till you no longer see the person. Okay, after you've done this go increase the soft edge a little bit and go back into the edit page. Now drag your first clip one layer up and drag the second clip under your first clip. And then it should look like this. And the second way to achieve this transition is to use some overlays. So for this I will use some urban transitions from aejuice.com, link is in the description. Okay, after I've downloaded some overlays I just drag them down here in the timeline. So now the moving object transition looks like this. But maybe you also want to add some smaller ones. So as you can see this doesn't look very good. So for this just drag the second clip under your first clip. And then go to your first clip, go to cropping. And in this case the object is moving from the right to the left. So I will create a keyframe at the first frame of our overlay at crop right. Then go some frames to the right till you see the right part of your moving object. Now again I go one frame to the left, I create a keyframe and I go one frame to the right. Now I increase the crop right value and now we can see something of our second clip. So again I go one frame to the right, I increase the crop right value and I repeat this till the moving object is no longer visible. So now it looks like this. Okay, now let's move on to the next transition, to the person transform transition. So for this transition again we need two clips and we need to duplicate the second clip by pressing alt and the left mouse button at the same time. Then press right click. Go to change clip speed and hit the freeze frame box and press change. Then go with this clip selected into fusion and try to mask out your object or person by using the polygon mask. Connect the polygon mask with the media in one node and hit the invert box. Now try to mask out your person. Now again hit the invert box and increase the soft edge. Then go to your media in one node, press shift and space by the same time and search for transform. Select transform and press add. Now go at least 20 frames to the right. Then create some keyframes at the center x and center y values 
as well as on the size value. Then go to settings, hit the motion blur box and increase the quality. Now go back to controls, go to your first frame and change the size and the position of your person so that you no longer see your person. Then go to the spline tab, select all keyframes and press alt and s at the same time to smooth out your animation. Now go back into the edit page and drag your upper clip 20 frames to the left. Then cut your upper clip at the transition point and delete the right part. Now it should look like this. And to make the background switch a little bit smoother, I go to effects, then I go to video transitions and I drag and drop this dissolved transition between the two clips. Okay, now I just decrease the length and then it should look like this. Okay, and now let's move on to the last transition of this video, to the jigsaw transition. So for this transition, again, duplicate your second clip by pressing Alt and the left mouse button at the same time. Right click onto this clip, go to change clip speed and hit the freeze frame box and press change. Then go with this clip selected into the fusion page. And now you can get really creative with this transition. So in my case, I want to slice this frame into three parts. So the first part is like everything left from the tree and the person. The second part is the tree and the person. And the third part is everything right from the person and the tree. So now I just cut out the first part by using the polygon mask. So I drag it down into the node field. I connect it to the media in one node and I hit the invert box. And now I will start masking. So the first part is masked out and again hit the invert box. Now go into the node field and copy and paste the media in one node by pressing Ctrl C and Ctrl V. Again connect the polygon mask. Then hit the invert box and try to mask out the second part. And now the second part is masked out and again hit the invert box. And again I will copy and paste the media in one node. I connect it to the merge node and again I will use a polygon mask. So again I will hit the invert box and try to mask out your third part. So now part 3 is masked out and again hit the invert box. And now you can see we got three parts. So this is part 1, this is part 2 and this is part 3. Now increase the soft edge of every polygon node. Alright, now select your media in one node and press shift and space by at the same time. Search for transform. Select transform and press add. Now you can get really creative with the movement of your parts. So I go to frame 24 and I create a keyframe at the center X and center Y values. Then go to settings and hit the motion blur box. Increase the quality. Now copy and paste the transform node by pressing Ctrl C, then go to the second media in one node and press Ctrl V. And again go to your third media in one node and press Ctrl V. Then go to your first transform node, go to the first frame and go to controls. Now change the position of your part so that it looks good. After that, go to the spline tab, select all keyframes and press alt and s at the same time to smooth out your animation. So now it should look like this. Okay, now go back into the edit page, drag the upper clip to the left and try to find the last frame of your animation. So in my case, this is the last frame. Now hit the marker button and drag the marked frame to the transition point. Then cut your upper clip at the transition point and delete the right part of it. And now the jigsaw transition is done and it should look like this. Okay, that's it for this video. So I hope this video has helped you. If so, then leave a like or sub to my channel. Go watch this video or this playlist to learn some more transitions. And thanks for all channel members and for the support. Go check out the first link in the description to get some nice effects and transitions. And thanks for your attention, stay creative and bye.